the short answer is no, there's no better time than any other time that any vaccine is better than no vaccination, better than getting COVID and getting really sick. But when you start to drill down a little bit, I think the conversation that I'm having with a lot of my patients is more around what's your individual risk? Uh, and that helps guide us in terms of when we might want to vaccinate um, or receive a vaccine in pregnancy. Particularly, some people are hesitant in the first trimester. So in the first trimester, it's when the fetus is forming, when there's organs forming. It is one of the most sensitive times for um, the risk of fetal anomalies because those organs are developing. So some people say, well, maybe I should skip it in the first trimester, wait until the second or third trimester. Um, if you are in a low risk environment, let's say you work from home, your spouse is working from home, um, you don't really interact a lot with the public, you get your groceries through click and collect or delivered, and really you have a very small risk, then yes, I would say if you feel better about waiting until the second or third trimester, then, then that's a good option for that individual. However, the flip side of that is um, a healthcare worker, someone that works in long-term care facility, someone that works you know, interacting with the general public, works at McDonald's, Shoppers Drug Mart, a grocery store where you might not have access to uh, PPE all the time and you're dealing with a lot of people every day. People that are in those settings uh, or let's say they have a um, you know, they live in a house that has multiple um, family members, so they're, they're, they live in a more crowded home situation or with elderly parents or another family. Any of those settings might put you more at risk because your exposure is higher. So in that case, getting the vaccine at any point in pregnancy might be preferable. The bottom line is that there is no indication that there is a risk of receiving the vaccination in any trimester in pregnancy, but I will add to that that it is fair to say we don't have as much information about vaccination in the first trimester because in things like the big registry in the U.S., the women who have been vaccinated in the last few months who are in their first trimester, they haven't delivered yet. So we don't have their outcome data. That risk um, benefit uh, discussion sometimes also needs to include the partner. Um, some we have species, we as the, there is a team of us, including Dr. Kuret, of course, who um, has uh, looked at all the positive COVID-19 in pregnancy cases we have had uh, throughout these 15, almost 16 months of the pandemic. And we have seen cases where um, even if the pregnant patient or the pregnant woman can afford to stay at home, which is not the option for many, many of them, but even if that is the case, that she can stay at home or work from, from home, um, sometimes, um, and actually in a substantial proportion of our positive cases, we have seen that it is her partner who sometimes may not work out, may, may not be able to work from home. Um, so when a, a, a mother or an expectant mother, an expectant family is trying to make that decision, as Dr. Kuret was saying, is not only what she does um, or where she stays, it's also what the people around her um, does and, and stays. And um, uh, that includes for sure uh, the partner. And we have many partners who are essential workers, uh, frontline workers uh, who have to go out and make a living. Oh yeah, the household exposure is, is huge in our pregnancy population, absolutely.